So, something very unexpected just happened. I just left Dr. Huang's office where I came to talk to him about a possible IVF. And we talked about several things. We talked about how my cycle was. It's the first time I went to see him. So we went through my whole medical history, like all over again. Um, but he kind of called me crazy for doing an unmedicated, well, unmonitored <laughs> gonal cycle and crazier for taking a hundred I use on the for on day three he says that's a lot so that got me a little bit scared because he thinks I produce too many eggs and as you know my goal is three at the most two three at the most just because I don't think they would all take anyways although I have no scientific fact to back my um, expectations um, I just really 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 would like to have twins but am I being crazy here just doing that man I don't know what to do I might just continued continue with the gonal at a lower dose maybe 75 for now and then later or maybe just keep it at 75 and then yeah maybe I should do this that I'll just keep it at 75 and then I'll see if I can have my scan a little sooner with the other doctor doctor number three ghetto doctor but the crazy thing was that I found out today, turns out that my doctor number one, infertility doctor number one, was fucking cheating all along because all my treatment is not covered by insurance and somehow he's billing them. So he got me really scared seeing that if the insurance people find out, they can actually back bill me for everything because they won't pay the doctor and then the doctor will bill me. Or maybe he won't because he's the one that fucked up in the first place. But God knows. But that got me really, really scared. Um, and I only found out because he was saying, I asked him, you know, about what will be covered. And he said, yeah, the IY is not covered and neither are the scans. So I told him, but wait, at the other doctor, the scans are covered. So he said, no, they're not unless he's committing fraud. They shouldn't be covered. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with that. I have to call them and let them know that I'm not doing anything with them this cycle. I'm just going to do, I'm just going to tell them I'm not doing anything. I'm skipping a cycle. So I'm just going to um, do 75. I use for now. Um, have my scan next week. Take my trigger shot. Maybe do an IOI if my husband is down with the plan. I also checked with him and he said I cannot do this at home. If you don't know a lot of people do it at home if you have any information about that and can share that with me I would really appreciate it um, to how to do the IUI at home and they also booked another appointment with the same doctor today dr. two for I don't know, the end of this month to talk to discuss about you know an IVF and the good thing is he's much cheaper than doctor number one for the IVF the doctor number one for IVF was like five grand and this doctor number two is about three so way much more affordable we'll see how that goes good luck to me